Om Jnana Timirandhasya Jnana Jnana Shalakaya Chakshura Nilitam Yena Tasmai Shri Gura Venamaha Meet someone or speak to them. We don't start talking about their <coughs> intimate childhood activities. So there are various reasons. One is that normally you wouldn't know about what someone was doing in their childhood. Another reason is it may seem inappropriate. And another reason it may seem insignificant. What does it matter about? What? Since we did now five years old. And such etiquette is also there in the dealings of the Supreme Law. In fact, anything which may be called civilization on this plane, in this material world, is uh, due to its closeness to the etiquette of the spiritual world, which is why pristine Indian culture is considered most laudable because it's closest to the culture of the spiritual world. So here Kundi Devi is speaking to grown-up Krishna who has grandchildren talking about what he's doing in his very early childhood. Kundi Devi may do so because she's uh, in an intimate, familiar relationship with Krishna. And another reason for this is that uh, Krishna's childhood activities, they're not exactly childish. If some child uh, is a naughty boy, and yet it doesn't matter when, when he's 25 years old, what he's doing at the age of five. Or in this case, Krishna, although he's unborn and he's not really, his age or anything else about him is not really measurable, he's 125 years old. But uh, Krishna's activities in his childhood are eternal, glorious, transcendental pastimes. So these are not insignificant activities of a small child. Krishna and Dalaram, sometimes they would catch the tails of the calves who would then run in fear, dragging Krishna and Balaram in the, in the dust behind them. This is when they're very small, they're just beginning to stand up. This is far more significant and important than if tomorrow Mr. Putin was to fire some atomic bombs on China or whatever. What is the news? What is going on in Iraq? Does anyone know? Anyone follow it? <laughs> Eating, sleeping, making, defending, killing, bombing also makes it a little more exciting than this audio of eating, sleeping, making, defending. More exciting and more miserable. So this is the news. We're very anxious to see the news. Will Bush get re-elected as the American president? What is the latest news in the American presidential race? What is the latest sports news? Must be time for the Olympic Games to begin soon. Maybe already began. Some should be sometime this summer. So this is the news. But there's more important news. Krishna has grabbed, baby Krishna has grabbed the tail of the calf and he's pulling him around in the courtyard. Stop the newspaper. Don't send them to the press. Whatever is on the front page, take it off and put this on. Major offensive in Iraq. 3,000 American soldiers killed. Take it off the front page. Put it on the front page. Krishna is holding onto the cow, the calf's tail. Actually, the news, you can all, it's more or less the same. You can, you can just write it yourself. So many people killed and then politicians talking nonsense. And, and it's just the dates and the names and the places change, but it's the same thing. Yamaraj in the form of a yaksha, in the yaksha Pashman section of the Mahabharata. One of the cryptic questions he asked the Yudhishthya Maharaj is, what is the news? The Yudhishthya Maharaj replied, there's a big frying pan and everyone is sitting in it and burning in the fire of time. So that is the news of the material world. In various different combinations and permutations, this is what is going on. And in the spiritual world, Krishna is dancing with the Gopi, he's stealing the butter, he's taking out the cows. These are this is literally the eternal transforms of Krishna. So, uh, Kundi Devi, she is appreciating the eternal pastimes of Krishna, mm -hmm. especially his childhood pastimes, which are difficult to understand, because in Vrindavan, Krishna is not fun. As well, Srimad Bhagavatam is also difficult to understand, because the whole uh, underlying theme of Srimad Bhagavatam is Krishna's two Bhagavan Swayam, Krishna's the original personal of the but his Swayam Bhagavata, or his, posi his position of being, the original personality of Godhead, means that he's uh, constitutionally, he's, he's not Bhagavan, he's not God. We should understand the absolute truth from the topmost self-realized person. So those are the uh, topmost self-realized persons that are the inhabitants of Vrindavan. So if you ask them, it's Krishna God, they say, no. He's that very naughty boy who is also very beautiful, the son of Yashoda. Mm -hmm. Actually, we are not theists. 
the devotees of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, they are not fierce and they are not atheists and they are not agnostic. So how is that possible? We should either be a fierce and atheist or an agnostic. There is no other position. But the Gorya Vaishnavas, they are super theists. Or they are in a position above theism. Because they know that Krishna is God. But that he himself, when Krishna thinks of himself, he doesn't believe I'm God. He thinks I'm the shoulder member. It's like Brahma was coming and praying to Krishna after uh, offending Krishna, superficially offending Krishna by taking away his cows and cow and Brahma was praising Krishna, you are the supreme personality of God, you are the origin of everything. And Krishna was thinking, who is this funny fellow with four heads saying all these funny things? Yeah, I, I'm just a cowherd boy, I just want to pray with my friends and then he's, he's coming and saying all these funny things. So it's difficult to understand. It's beyond the platform of understanding. It is on the platform of pure love. That platform of pure love is uh, appears similar to, but it's quite different to that of the love of this material world, or the sentiments of this material world. This desire to satisfy one's own senses, which is actually the position of love, the so-called love in this material world, that is simply a mundane must be desired. But Krishnendriya Preeti Ikcha, the desire to satisfy Krishna's senses, that is called praying of pure love. And that pure love of Krishna, that is the topmost position. Madhya Yashoda is being praised by Kunti because she has, Kunti uh, Yashoda Devi has this pure love without any consciousness even of Krishna being God. Uh, Kunti Devi herself is a pure devotee of Krishna. But she was appreciating Yashoda's position as being far more exalted than her own position. Name over into Navagal, Nashi, Rapyanga, Sangshaya. Prasadam le gire gopiyam, let that prapya be mukhida. Shudya Goswami is also appreciated. What is the position of Yashoda Devi? That the position of your Yashoda Devi that uh, Lord Brahma cannot imagine it is far above even that of Lord Shiva. Not sure of and Asha. Uh, and even Sri Lakshmi Devi, who is directly sheltered on the chest of the Lord, mm. that they could not, even these great exalted personalities, could not achieve the mercy that they showed that they had done. Prasadam, maybe they go to, she's a go to, she's a cow not the goddess of fortune, not the creator of the universe, not the destroyer of the universe. Kala, when she got a kind of mercy, uh, she was she could always uh, that mercy was always the uh, way she was living in the atmosphere of the, the mercy of Krishna's uh, the full love of Krishna. Krishna is the giver of liberation, but Yashoda Devi had no knowledge of nor interest in Krishna's being the giver of liberation. She got the mercy of tying him up. Krishna is the person who releases others, he, he releases him, but Yashoda Devi was able to tie him up. So he was great devotees. Even great devotees like Kundi Devi were so intimate with Krishna, they appreciated what is the good fortune of Yashoda Devi, Nandi Maharaj. The residents of Vrindavan. Shutim Mitare, Shutim Apare, Dharata Nanye, Bhai Zita Ha, Ahame Ha, Nandan Nanye, Yasyalin De Param Brahma. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu very much appreciated these words. That uh, some persons are very much interested in studying the Shruti or the original Vedas. Others are very interested in studying the Smriti or the corollary Vedic literatures. And others being very afraid of material existence, they, they, uh, they uh, very much revered uh, Mahabharata. But Ahamika, I'm also in this world, says the altar of this world. But I'm not thinking of this, uh, how to get elevated to the heavenly planets according to the Vedic injunctions. And I'm not thinking of how to get liberated from material existence by following the Vedic injunctions. But I'm simply worshipping Nanda Maharaj. Now why should we worship Nanda Maharaj? Who is that problem? We've heard of the great conquerors of the world. Who is this Nanda Maharaj? He's called Maharaj as if he's a big king. But he's just living in the forest and looking after some cows. King of the cows. Mm -hmm. Who's that from? But in his courtyard, he is playing the supreme absolute. So who can 
We can estimate the position of Nanda and Yashoda. Shukdev Goswami also astonished at the position of Nanda and Yashoda and all the residents of the Bhagavan. A whole Bhagavan, a whole Bhagavan, Nanda Gopi Tokhi said. How fortunate are the, the Nanda Maharaj and all the residents of the Bhagavan, simply the whole Bhagavan, how fortunate, how fortunate. Mm -hmm. So this is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mercy, he's made us aware of this. Of course, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would was his focus was even a notch higher, step higher, step higher. The love of Mother Yashoda for Krishna is unlimited, immeasurable. It is not possible that there is any higher love for Krishna than that of Mother Yashoda. But still the Gopi's love is considered more <coughs> transcendentally complete. There is nothing higher than Yashoda Devi's love for Krishna. Still the Gopi's love is considered higher. This statement makes no sense. It's beyond the platform of sense. It's not nonsense, but it's beyond the platform of ordinary sense. It's achintya inconceivable. So let us worship the path of the great devotee. This is the entrance to Radha Anuga Bhakti. Radha Anuga Bhakti, we shall begin by worshipping those who are Radhatmika, those who are absorbed in the who know nothing else but pure love for Krishna. But we cannot begin to properly worship the pure spiritual substance unless we become free from the contamination of the material substance. So we shall hear about these uh, glorious pastimes of Krishna. This is our prayojan, or our ultimate necessity of life. We shall approach that through understanding our sambandha with Krishna, and uh, following the process of devotional service, Abhi Actually, there is no hope of us approaching the Vrindavan pastimes of Krishna. We are thoroughly unqualified. Not only unqualified, but disqualified. Our disqualifications are calm, crowd, low, moha, madha, asana, etc. Thus, greed, anger, envy, intoxication, illusion, and madness. Kam krod, lo, moha, madha, diya, vishta, ishad, na, chari, kise, pabe, rata, krishna. You know, Tarkot is the rhetorical question. As long as we are absorbed in lust, anger, greed, and so on, then how can we attain to Radha and Krishna? If even Brahma, Shiva, and Lakshmi cannot attain to the Rajalila of Krishna, then what hope is there for us? We have no hope. We have no hope, but nevertheless, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is giving us hope. He is. Agati Agati, he is the goal of those who have no hope, the hope of those who have no hope. So we shall worship the Radha Pata, the path of the exalted devotees with great uh, awe and reverence. Ujjala Radha Pata, Gaurava Bhangus. This, uh, this statement of Shri Adhanti Sanchar Pata is very instructive. And, uh, how we shall worship the Radha Pata, Ujjala means worship, we shall worship Gaurava Bhangi, this can be understood as uh, breaking or transcending the awe and reverence. It can also be understood as with Sakrama Sivimana, that with uh, worshipping the Radha part, demonstrating appropriate awe and reverence. We have heard of great devotees, the ones who have come to the chastise their duties. We shall not do so. Even he chastised, we didn't make that. He is able to do so, we should not. We shall worship the path of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Radha Pata, by serving him according to his instructions. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted Krishna conscious speech in every town and village. So let us do that. Pray for the unlimited mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. There is no way we can even think of beginning to approach Vrindavan without that mercy. We should all go to Vrindavan, if at all possible, save money, get on a plane, go to Delhi, go from Delhi to Mathura, from Mathura to Vrindavan. But real going to Vrindavan doesn't cost one kopeck. It is very difficult to get enough money to go to Vrindavan. It takes time to save up so much money. So we can go without spending even one ruble or kopeck immediately, but it's more difficult more than saving up money. The formula is, Vishwai Charya Kabe Shuddha Hobe Man Kabe Amahera Bhoshri Vrindavan. Giving up all desires for sense gratification, 
Okay. Making, the, you know, making the heart completely pure, then we can actually see Vrindavan. And if we don't do that, then we can sit in a heart in Vrindavan all our lives, and we will never see Vrindavan. We can see Vrindavan right here. What do we see? Some ugly looking apartment block out of the window, if you look out the window. But if our consciousness is purified, then Vrindavan in a chorus of Bhakti Galochan in a sandha, Sadaiva, Vidyeshu Galochan. Yang Shama Sundaram of Chinte Gunasu and Govinda Madhi Purusham Kamakamaja. And Sadaiva, certainly, always, we will see within our heart of hearts the beautiful threefold ending form of Shama Sundaram if our eyes are smeared with the ointment of love. And we may see him and we may not see him because he may, he may remove himself from our vision. Mm. So, going to Vrindavan is good. We should all go to Vrindavan by the what we can call the physical means and also by the metaphysical means, which is more important. The metaphysical means is by chanting. Chanting what? Any questions? Nothing. Everyone is to bring down. What should be a proper mode while chanting properly? How to do it? How to chant properly? You want to repeat the question? Lord is service mode. Oh Krishna, oh energy of Krishna, please engage me in my service. So according to there we offer uh, our prayers to Krishna. As our original prayers, she was singing them or she put them to me afterwards. She composed for this uh, poetry and he uh, said it in the form of poetry of this person. You didn't read Srimad Bhagavatam Pratnamo. Shukadev begins speaking. In what is compiled as the beginning of the second canto, this is in the first canto. These verses are not repeated by Shukadeva. Many devotees have been practicing Krishna consciousness for many years, still they never went to Vrindavan. Is it uh, harmful, or is it in any way detrimental to their devotion service and Krishna consciousness, or is it does it better slow down their progress in Krishna consciousness? One part what the Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita Sri Bhakti Sanskrit of Thakur noted. He gave the names of many great devotees of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu of whom there is no record that they ever went to the And he, he but he comments that many Prakritas, Sahajiras, Mayavadis, etc. superficially live in Vrindavan. So what is the, the better, the position of Saruk Damodaran, Pundari Vidyanidhi or some some bogus Babaji sitting in Brahmakun in the water for seven days? Of course, I can't say I don't want to make any offense against that other who purportedly fell in the water and stayed there for seven days. But I know for sure if someone came and told that the Prabhupada that his disciple had remained in Raja for seven days, or that he told he remained on book distribution for seven days, I know for sure what Prabhupada would be more pleased with, and it was not sitting in Raja. I narrated that story a few days ago in Sukhareva of the two sannyasis who got the blessing from the Pujari. That in your next life you can be born in India and worship the deity in India. Yes. Prabhupada's Sanyas Pisan. And Prabhupada said, well, you should go and back and bless this the Pujari, that in your next life you may be fortunate to be born in the Western countries and preach Krishna countries all over the world. If you get the chance, go to Vrindavan. Vrindavan is our home, actually, non different from Vrindavan, <laughs> but at the same time, more merciful is the Dham. Of Navadi Mayapur. I hear devotees they speak a lot about Vrindavan, but what, actually our focus should be even more on Mayapur. We can't properly appreciate Vrindavan unless we appreciate Mayapur. If you continue to distribute books, then to distribute Prabhupada's books very sincerely, then Prabhupada, who is a resident of Vrindavan, will surely take you there. He, uh, he will reveal Vrindavan to you even when, even in the snow of Russia. Any other question? Why love of the gopis is, 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 um, is considered to be higher than love of the children? I cannot say. As long as we're trying to measure, you see, this, this is longer than this, is it not? This distance from here to here, longer than here to here. You can see, you can understand. It's so obvious. Book. But the love of Mother Yashoda is an immeasurable. So we cannot say that there is any love greater than that of Mother Yashoda. So if we're trying to measure the love of Mother Yashoda, we are failures. Then we, can, then we can't explain how the Gopi's love is. Gopi's love is. It is not measurable.